the scrambled egg. God, that seems a bit hard that part. So today's review is yesterday's purchase, and that is Kershaw's, Kershaw's Frozen Foods, the all day big breakfast. Oh, <laughs> look at the clip of that. But if you think that looks bad, wait until you see what came out the microwave. All you pink chefs out there, you will love this. So this is an all day big breakfast from Heron's Foods that we bought yesterday. It says with sausages, fried potatoes, that's your version of hash browns. Let's give you a quick glimpse of them. Beans, can you call them beans? Scrambled eggs, which that's how it looks in the photo. That is not how it looks in the ready meal. Um, and tomatoes, don't think they can go wrong with the frozen tomatoes can they? So this is the meal and it says the sausages are 16% pork, look at the sausages, in the big herons breakfast, 16% pork, 15% chicken, any other meat in there? 16% pork. 15% chicken, so that's 31%. Where is the other 69%? What is the other 69%? But I'm gonna flip the camera around and just show you exactly how it comes once it leaves the microwave. Oh, look at that. So there's the 31% meat sausages, 16% pork, 15% chicken, two slices of, says, breakfast ham. Scrambled egg. Um, these were all stuck together, which they're now falling apart, which is good. Then we've got a full thing of tomatoes. I would have preferred the beans to be over there, like. And the beans are somewhere underneath these sausages and the ham and all this. There's, there's beans under there anyway. So I'm guessing this is meant to be a fake bacon. So it's ham. Um, and I'm on the breakfast substitute, I'm guessing. So let's take a look. Does it look... If we were to put that on a plate, would it look like the picture? The sausages, I'd say very similar. Um, the tomato is like a paste, very similar. The hash browns, potato bits, uh, yes, yeah, sort of. The two sizes of ham look nothing like that. And the scrambled egg, we have actually squashed that up like it says to do. So you have to do eight minutes in the microwave, then take the lid off, stir everything around, mix the beans, mix the tomatoes, mix the potatoes, so everything gets fully heated up. So I think we lose this because it sort of looks like the packet. So first, I think we need to dig into these sausages, the part meat sausages. But I think I get some beans on there, you know, mix it up a little bit. Oh, that is a poor sausage. That is a poor, poor sausage. That isn't, I would prefer a hot dog to that. We go again, let's get some tomatoes on there. You know, see if we can influence the flavor. The texture is almost hot dog-like, but worse, almost corn-like. Cardboardy, absolutely no flavour to that sausage at all. But if you're on a budget, 
two of these for three quid. I know it says two pound each on the packet. Two pound each, but it was two for three pound in Herons. The sausage, the frozen sausage, is absolutely black. Next up, we'll go to these mini potatoes. So I'm guessing that's the version of hash browns. The mini potatoes. Um, and I'm gonna get some beans on there because they seem a little bit dry. God, they are rank as well. Them potatoes are hard, flavourless. They are disgusting, I can't eat more potatoes. They are rank. So what's good though is they are breaking up into mini, mini potatoes where when they first came out of the microwave, they were all stuck together like one big clump of potato. And I was like, no! Now let's try the breakfast ham. Breakfast ham. What's it say about the ham on the packet? Um, breakfast ham. 3% formed pork. I don't know what formed pork is. Formed pork, 70%. Not pork, like the sausages, were pork, 16%. Chicken, 15%. This is formed pork. Let's try a full slice of breakfast ham. Oh, that's surprising. That is surprising. The breakfast ham tastes like very, very cheap wafer, wafer thin ham. That's fine. You know, I'm all right with that on the breakfast. Is it a substitute for bacon? For two, for three quid it is. Mm. You can actually taste the ham flavor in there. Um, so there's probably like the Burger King advert. It's like liquid smoke. There's probably liquid ham in that. Now on to the scrambled egg. God, that seems a bit hard, that part. And I cooked this to exactly what it says on the box. Eight minutes, take the, take the lid off, move it all around, squash bits down, mix the beans, mix the tomatoes, uh, put the lid back on, put it back in for a further two and a half minutes. I've done the exact cooking method, it says on the packet. Now that, I'm not, do I eat the big chunk? The hard big chunk, or do I just go, there's softer bits in there. These softer parts of scrambled egg. Let's get some scrambled egg and beans. The beans, despite looking dry, are all right. Once you mix them beans around, they're actually all right. Um, obviously they're not Heinz, they're a cheap, version of beans but it gives the whole breakfast a little bit of flavor that it really needs it is desperate for let's try a little bit of scrambled egg on its own oh that is bad it's tasteless and it's like putting cotton or cloth into your mouth mm -mm. that is not good that that is not good. Now, I've tried every part of the dish on its own. Um, the tomato is almost like a puree with some little lumps in. God, they are tangy. They also add a little bit of flavor to the dish. So the beans and the tomato, very, very tangy tomato. The sausages are rank. The breakfast ham, it tastes a ham, like really, really cheap wafer ham. Um, but when you go to a greasy spoon, you know, and I love greasy spoons, everyone knows that. But sometimes it's safe by sauce. Let's get a bit of ketchup on there. Let's see if that can save any part of the dish. You know, can it save the absolutely disgusting sausage? You can taste the ketchup, Heinz is always nice, um, but it doesn't save that sausage. Um, I don't think anything can save that sausage. It's like this whole breakfast has been shipped over from Chernobyl or something. Um, absolutely rank. Beans are the saviour. Ham tastes like cheap ham. Potatoes, rank. Eggs, 
disgusting taste like cloth in the mouth that's the texture tanginess from the tomato could it save the potatoes the mini potatoes can the tanginess from the tomato save them no 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 we don't talk about Bruno we don't talk about Kershaw's the all day big breakfast that is rank absolutely rank um, if you were on a budget would you get it I wouldn't I couldn't so I could. there's budget things out there isn't there you know for that price I could have a Greg's a Greg's bacon sarnie um, which I'd prefer over that for £1.50 but then it's in the freezer it's convenient ah, nah absolutely rank but there it is rank that egg though do you know what I mean it's thick it's tough it's cotton like the saviour was almost the ketchup uh, the sausages one of the probably the worst part of the dish the sausages overall absolutely rank follow Dad Loves Food on Facebook follow Dad Loves Food on Travel on TikTok and check out Dad Loves Food on YouTube where all videos are edited. Cheers, everyone. Rank.